What's up, guys? It's William from Negronomy with another video, and today we're going to be talking about Tory Lanez and this balloon payment that he has on this property. And because he wasn't able to pay the money by the due date that the balloon payment was supposed to be made, he's actually in danger of losing the property at which he stays at. So a balloon payment works really simple. This is how it works. And, you know, it would work for rappers or people that are going to come with a lot of money later on in life. You know, if you know you're going to come through a lot of money later on in life, then this works. You know, rappers, entertainers, I can see why this works. But for the average person, balloon payments do not work and they're actually dangerous. So what happens is usually people, when they buy a property, they can buy it outright if they have all the money. The other option is you get a mortgage. So you buy the property, you put a... 5, 10, 20 percent down on the property and you pay the rest of the balance to a mortgage to another person that you know that's willing to take on the debt like a banker that's willing to so you pay the banker and when you pay the banker then you get to own the property now there's another option where it's called balloon payment so what they do is it's just like a mortgage but instead of paying the principal and and the interest what they do is all you got to do is just pay the interest on the mortgage, and after five years, five, ten years, they want you to pay the whole balance off. So, if, if you were doing it through a mortgage, so the regular mortgage, it would be like a thousand dollars for a mortgage and a hundred dollars for the interest. So you would pay eleven hundred every month. So suppose I I came to you and I said, don't pay the one thousand dollars, just pay the hundred dollars a month. And after five years, when you come up with all your money and your bread, and you're out there stunting and releasing all those music tracks, and you get come across with millions of dollars, then just pay me at that time. You can pay me the whole principal of the house, the 100000 So they can do that. So they can, instead of paying 1100 you can just pay the interest of $100. And then in five years, pay the whole principal. So yes, that does work. Some people do balloon payments. But that's if you're going to come across a lot of money, like a year or two from now. Then you can go into the bank and just pay the whole amount all at once without spending spending so much of your money right now on a mortgage. So what we got now is Tory Lanez. And you know Tory Lanez, he be out here in these streets. And the thing about these type of allegation and cancel culture is that even when these allegations are false, the man still suffers, Tory Lanez. As you can see, the evidence is coming out that he didn't even shoot the lady and even though he didn't even shoot the lady, and this maybe they might decide that he's innocent, that whole ordeal, that one, two years of him fighting back and forth with Meg Thee Stallion, he's lost a lot of record deals, contracts, potential money he could have made from all of his rap contracts. All of that because they were going to do cancel culture and do Me Too on him, that he hates women and he attacks women and shoots them. And that's... And that will hurt your career. So Tory Lanez won't be able to come back from this just because of false allegations. And that's why a lot of you men need to be careful with these women and how you give them enough access. Because if you know this woman is trifling, like Meg D. Stalin, this is not the type of woman you really should be hanging around with. This should be someone that's casual that you're just going to see for, you know, booty clapping sound. And then when it's all over, just get up and leave. Do not leave this lady. This lady should be for recreational play. And that's what happened. That the story's coming out that Tory Lanez was already going out with his other girl. They're both in the same car. They probably had a fight. And then something went down. Someone got shot. Meg Thee Stallion is lying about who the person is. Because they couldn't find a gun residue on him. But anyway, let's talk about this. You know, Tory Lane, let me show you what's going on here. So we got the bank floor closure right here. So y'all see Tory Lane's on here. So he's fighting for his freedom against assault charges brought on by ex-girlfriend Meg Thee Stallion. Now what really happened probably is the other girl that was in the car, Meg Thee Stallion didn't know he was having sex with that girl. And that girl is one of her close friends. So Tory Lanez is getting exposed while in the car. Now that's the worst thing that can happen. That 
that's one of the worst things that, that that can happen is that you're gonna expose, and the two lady that that are exposing you are in the are very close proximity, so you can see how you know, you know that when you're in close proximity and one of them has a gun, usually it's kind of like the same like and they're in the kitchen and you get exposed and the woman picks up a knife. You know that was a Latina woman. <laughs> Watch out for the kitchen if you're gonna get exposed. So this is probably what really happened is that the other lady found out Mehdi Stallion. So that lady got mad and they pulled out a gun. You know, gunshot wounds and all that kind of crazy stuff going on. So, so now he he's in the battle and what they do is Mehdi Stallion probably trying to, you know, cover, try to save his girl that you know she's mad about and try to put blame all on the brother. And that's the situation you see. They're going to believe the lady because that's how this world is, is operating. For a lot of black men, when you go to court, you're seen as guilty and you have to prove your innocence. So people were, before they even went to court, people were jumping on Tory Lanez before they, he could even prove his innocence. They're already jumping on Tory Lanez. As you see, this is what's going on. So when, when you're a black man, you really got to be careful about some of these women that you're hanging out with and access that you give to them. Especially when you know they're toxic, like Meg Thee Stallion. Like, you, you know she's toxic. Just look at her. She's got Raptor Claws, the song that she's be rapping about. She, 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 so, and even when they find out that Meg Thee Stallion was lying, you know what the, you know what the entertainment, the, you know, society's gonna say, they're all going to say, oh, that's too sorry. And you know, they're not going to come after Meg Thee Stallion the same way they came to Tory Lanez. They're just going to give her a slap on the wrist and let her go. And then he's going to have to go and do a lawsuit and try to get some money from it to pay back for all of this. So right here now, because of this, all this back and forth, he, was, he lost so many record contracts and he has no money. All because of allegations, not even proven allegations. And this is another sign of cancel culture, like, Recently, Mediocre, Tutorial, and Review. Now, he's getting a taste of cancel culture just because he had a picture with Kevin Samuels. Now, he's losing sponsorship, which is funny that he's losing a sponsorship from a company named Keep that talk about male baldness. So, it has nothing to do with women, but because the women were complaining about Mediocre, Tutorial, Review, and making false allegations, you know, black men, you're always viewed as Guilty, and then you have to prove your innocence. So he's not even proven guilty of what they're calling him, misogyny and all these different type of things. But they're already pulling contract away from this YouTuber, Medi Mediocre Tutorial and Review. So it said, according to report, Tory's credit was horrendous. So he took out a non-traditional mortgage with some pretty crazy payments. So balloon payment. But they knew that Tory Lanez was was an up-and-coming rapper, and he was going to come with a lot of money. So they said, you know, let's give him this mortgage, and then a couple of years from now, he's going to be balling, and he can easily pay us. So that's why they gave him this mortgage, because he had the potential. So that's what the balloon payment is for. So, you know, you keep putting air into the balloon, and then at a certain time, it pops. So when it pops, that's when you're supposed to pay off that whole mortgage. But when it pops, and you're not able to pay that whole mortgage, then the the mortgage lenders can go ahead and foreclose on you. So he owes one million two, almost 1.2 million of interest that, that's owed. And then also, you know, the penalties and everything. So, you know, Tory Lanez, he's out here trying to raise money for this situation. <laughs> Man, I feel sorry for this guy, you know. Now he's out here. Doing this radio broadcast, trying to raise money. When I walk in the spot, don't touch my hands. Why? Don't play games with me. We are back at it live in full effect. Quarantine, 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 quarantine radio. Quarantine radio. Man, they got him trying to raise money. Now, ladies and gentlemen, can we start the countdown off? It looks like we got more than 1,000 in here, 2,000 in here, 3,000 people, 4,000 in Oh man, somebody raised some money for Tory Lanez, this is getting crazy. 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. I can't watch anymore, this is silly guys. He's trying to raise... 
raise money for, for this situation. And that's all because of fake allegations. All because of fake allegations. This Me Too movement has gone too far. I don't know, guys. What do y'all think, man? This is getting out of hand. Anyways, y'all make sure you comment down below. Make sure you leave a message. Like, share, and subscribe. This is William, and that's all I got to say about this video. Bye-bye.